Hey everyone, Sprozzi here and welcome to my channel. I hope you're having a fantastic day and I hope you've been having some memorable dreams of late. As in this video, I'm going to be talking to you about dreams that I have had. It's not often I have dreams, but when I do, they tend to be quite memorable. And throughout my life, I have learned that if I have a load of cheese in the evening, could be any type of cheese from cheddar cheese to Wensleydale, to Stilton, to Camembert, to a really creamy, smelly cheese. Where was I? Ah yes, in an evening, if I ever have lots of cheese, regardless of what type of cheese it is, I have some very vivid, memorable dreams, which are often quite disturbing and very much tend to fall within the remit of being a nightmare. Yes, when I have cheese, I have very bad dreams, which is a shame. I would quite like some good dreams when they're that memorable. So I'm just going to tell you the story of some of these dreams that I have had. So one of the dreams that I can remember from days gone by, I was a stick man, very much like this and I couldn't speak and I was falling down a black hole. That was pretty much it. I was a stick man falling into oblivion and there was no way out. Couldn't even scream for help. Just falling into oblivion. And then I woke up. That was very short, very memorable. Another dream. This one was following a New Year cheese and wine party where I had lots of cheese, not so much wine. I remember I was, be, I was chained down onto a camp bed and this woman had a needle and was pricking me all over. It was very painful, I could feel a pain. That was the most memorable bit there were some other torturous moments. It's a bit long ago now, a good few years ago. I can't quite remember what happened, but I just remember for being pricked in the chest and it was very, very painful. If you're familiar with Jack Bauer and 24, this next dream is related to that. Back in the days when I watched 24 on TV, I had this dream where I was Jack Bauer. Unfortunately, I had been captured by the villains and I was in a torture chamber. All things considered, it really was not pleasant. And there was one particular bit where I, as Jack Bauer, was tied to a wheel, like one of the big cog wheels that you would like hold onto and push around. I was tied to that, but it connected with another wheel. So it'd be like one here and one here. And then I was going right between the two and I would be crushed between the two wheels. It was not pleasant. I had this one other dream going a little bit further back to when I studied history at A level. Good old A levels and it was in particular World War II and in this dream I was on a World War II battlefield and there was Adolf Hitler in a tank chasing after me and he had a machine gun going and I was running for my life and then it dawned on me I realized that I was dreaming this is the one time in my life where I ever realised I was dreaming as I was dreaming. And I thought, I could get out of this. I wasn't able to fly or anything or be like a fancy superhero. But I thought, if I'm having this dream, maybe I could switch it to another dream. And with all my might in my dream, I changed the dream. Went from a World War II battlefield to being on the bridge of the Starship Enterprise in Star Trek. I thought it had worked. Unfortunately, it didn't. Adolf Hitler in his tank followed me into that dream. 
It was pretty scary. And then he ran me over with his tank. It was game over. And then I woke up. This next stream is now a bit of a contrast to those ones. I was once strolling along in town and it suddenly dawned on me that I really needed to go to the toilet. I was very desperate. And it just so happened right next to me was an entrance to an underground lavatory or public toilets. I walked through the door, down the steps into the underground public toilets. It was at this point things took a turn for the worst. Turns out it was a maze of toilets and not all the toilets were actually toilets. And of the toilets that were toilets, they were either occupied or broken, so as to be unusable. And there's a whole maze of them. And I couldn't find a working toilet or my way out. And I was really desperate to go. So that was not pleasant. It was a terrible nightmare. I was running around trying to find a free toilet and I, I couldn't find any. They were just broken or had no doors to the front or someone was already in there. Eventually I woke up and realised I actually needed to go to the toilet in real life. So I dashed out of bed to go to the toilet. And now for one final dream. If you've all seen Avengers Infinity War then you'll remember Thanos snapping his fingers after collecting all the Infinity Stones and then half of all life disappearing into death. Well, in this dream, I was a superhero fighting Thanos and failing miserably. I couldn't fly away. I had no strength and Thanos was just throwing me around like a rag doll. And it got to the point where Thanos snapped his fingers and I faded away into dust or oblivion and death really is not pleasant when you're dying in your own dream. That is all the dreams I can remember offhand right now and they were pretty scary stuff and very horrible at the time and when I woke up I was a nervous wreck. I would quite like to do a uh, opposite video, a video of pleasant dreams I've had. Unfortunately I don't tend to remember those ones so there won't be a video of that anytime soon. I do hope you have enjoyed my story of my dreams though and if you do please do like and subscribe and I hope you've been having much better dreams than I have had. What dreams have you had? In the meantime I am gonna go away have a kit tonight hopefully have some better dreams if I remember them. In the meantime have a fantastic rest of your day hope you have some pleasant dreams and I'll see you on a new video soon. Bye!